Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate the percentage by mass of an element in a compound. Now this sounds tricky, but it's actually quite straightforward. I'm showing you here the compound magnesium oxide. Looking at the formula, we can see that magnesium oxide contains the elements magnesium and oxygen. There's no small number to the right of the magnesium, so that tells us that the compound contains one atom of magnesium. And there's also no small number to the right of the oxygen, so the compound also contains one atom of oxygen. In the last video, we saw that we can work out the relative formula mass of a compound by adding together the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the numbers shown in the formula. And the symbol for relative formula mass is MR. I should tell you that in the exam, you'll be given any relative atomic masses that you need. Magnesium has a relative atomic mass of 24, and we have one atom of magnesium. Oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16, and we have one atom of oxygen. So the relative formula mass of magnesium oxide is 24 plus 16, which is 40. And remember that relative formula mass does not have a unit. Now, the percentage by mass tells us what percentage of the relative formula mass is due to one of the elements in a compound. To calculate the percentage by mass, we use this equation. The percentage by mass of an element equals the total relative atomic mass of the atoms of that element, divided by the relative formula mass of the compound, and then multiplied by 100. We're going to calculate the percentage by mass of magnesium in magnesium oxide. We have one atom of magnesium, and the relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24. The relative formula mass of magnesium oxide is 40. Dividing 24 by 40 and multiplying by 100 gives us a percentage by mass of 60% for the magnesium and magnesium oxide. OK, here's a question for you. I'd like you to calculate the percentage by mass of calcium and calcium chloride. Calcium chloride has the formula CaCl2 and the relative formula mass of calcium chloride is 111. The relative atomic mass of calcium is 40, and I'd like you to give your answer to the nearest whole number. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, calcium chloride contains one atom of calcium, and this has a relative atomic mass of 40. The relative formula mass of calcium chloride is 111. Dividing 40 by 111 and multiplying by 100 gives us a percentage by mass of 36% for the calcium and calcium chloride. Here's another question for you. I'd like you to calculate the percentage by mass of hydrogen in methane. The formula of methane is CH4, and methane has a relative formula mass of 16. The relative atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, now the formula tells us that methane contains four atoms of hydrogen. Each hydrogen atom has a relative atomic mass of 1, so the total relative atomic mass of the four hydrogen atoms is 4. Methane has a relative formula mass of 16. Dividing 4 by 16 and multiplying by 100 gives us a percentage by mass of 25% for the hydrogen in methane. OK, here's a final question for you. I'd like to calculate the percentage by mass of sodium in sodium sulfate. The formula of sodium sulfate is Na2SO4, and the relative formula mass of sodium sulfate is 142. The relative atomic mass of sodium is 23, and I'd like you to give your answer to one decimal place. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, the formula tells us that sodium sulfate contains two atoms of sodium. Each sodium atom has a relative atomic mass of 23, so the total relative atomic mass of the two sodium atoms is 46. Sodium sulfate has a relative formula mass of 142. Dividing 46 by 142 and multiplying by 100 gives us a percentage by mass of 32.4% for the sodium in sodium sulfate. You'll find plenty of questions on this topic in my vision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above.